Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. And today we're gonna look at um, my review of the brand Glam Shop and their palette Sorbetti. So this is the eyeshadow palette. Um, it comes with a sleeve and this is how she looks like. She's so pretty, she's not too big, but she is sturdy and like really nice. And she has absolutely beautiful shimmers and the mattes are just so nice to work with. So I'm going to be showing you looks with this palette and then I'm going to show you also a couple other things that I've got from this brand. This is my first time trying Glam Shop and I can't wait to get more uses out of their products and just find out more about them because this is my first look and I'm super happy about how it turned out and the whole application. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. Also, if this is your first time here, hi, my name's Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows. And I've been meaning to try this Polish brand for a really long time, considering that I live in Central Europe. So we're finally here. I'm super happy. And let's just jump right into this video. So this is how she looks like. She's very like pastel-y, neutrally with pop of uh, fun colors so like you have kind of yellows oranges uh, some purpley blues some like greenish colors you have a lot of things and they're all kind of multi-chromy duochromy like this one she's kind of yellow green and like blue kind of like blue sparkle then this one is very neony like pinky orange this one is a purple, it's kind of like a golden green sheen, I think. Then this one is green with blue sheen. This one looks kind of almost holochrome-y, like it has green base with some purple, pink particles in it. I'm gonna have to swatch this one to know what it looks like. Then we have this Tutti Frutti shade, which is like blue turquoisey with a little bit of purple maybe and then you have this shade which is orange to like pinky color and this one i don't know it's it's kind of like peachy and i don't know if it has any shift but yeah it looks really really pretty and i really want to try this one so we're gonna be testing it out today and i know i want to use this green shade called mietus and then probably the shade Lavender Vaperlam and you know what I, th I actually think I'm gonna use the whole top row of shimmers and for the matte shades I think we're gonna start with the shade Malinowski and we're gonna do like a winged look so i'm just gonna grab a liner brush and um this palette to me seems like a really nice quality palette the shimmers and the mattes both look really really pretty and they look like they will be nice formula it came with those little foamy uh, like circles on top of each shade so that it wouldn't um, it wouldn't get ruined ruined uh, throughout the um, transport and all of the shades look very shiny like the shimmers look very shiny the matte feel super um, soft and as you can see they have nice or at least this uh, this pinky one has a nice color to it and nice pigment and this isn't the only palette that I bought I also bought like a big palette called Alter Ego I believe um, which I will show you in a minute I have a bronzer and six single shades which I will also show you I've wanted to try this brand for a while not just because it's so close to where I live and it's like literally the neighboring country but I also really like that they're not expensive brand which 
that's kind of hard to find these days and i know that a lot of uh, youtubers do really enjoy this brand so now we are gonna use the shade next to it which is called socks mirabelkin and it's like a kind of grungy yellowy orange shade and i want to use that in the inner part just because i don't know that's what i'm feeling today also if the application looks a little weird uh, i've already worn makeup today and i just want to film this first look i think i'm gonna do two or maybe three i think i'm gonna do two looks in this video and then the rest will be on my instagram and tiktok because i don't know how much time i'm gonna have we'll see maybe i'm gonna be able to do three but you'll you'll definitely be able to see that in the title and everything but yeah these shades are really soft and very nicely pigmented actually okay so i've applied the nyx glitter primer and we're gonna start with the shade lavender Vaperla, which looks beautiful by the way and what i forgot to say is and also what i really think about uh, this palette is it's very sturdy like it's well built it looks proper um which i'm very happy about let me try it oh that looks shiny I don't know if it's more like a topper or if it actually has a lot of oh yeah that's very shiny and more toppery which is okay because a lot of these shimmers look way darker than the mattes which is not that much of a problem also this is mostly shimmer palette but I think I'm gonna try it with a oh yeah it's definitely better with a finger I'm kind of blending it into the wing as well so shiny and it definitely has like a green gold kind of flip and this light purple base kind of almost like pinky purple and it feels very lightweight so far yeah i think that's for the first shade now we're gonna use the shade miatus so it's very oh wow it's very minty green wow with blue shift it kind of reminds me of the shade serpents from terra moons but this one maybe has a little bit more base color or i don't know maybe they're very similar I, i'm gonna try to swatch them next to each other um later on if i'll remember because this is just stunning i was kind of I didn't know for a long time if I want to try this brand because a lot of people compare them to uh, Colourpop and I, I like Colourpop mattes but I don't love their shimmers and so I wasn't sure if I'm gonna try this brand but I also know a lot of people who own just singles from uh, Glam Shop and they love their shimmers so I thought I should try them and I'm not disappointed. Like this is this is amazing this is beautiful oh my god do you see that i don't know if you see how extremely just shiny this is but wow this is so beautiful now i'm gonna use the shade um mrožene citriny Oh yeah, this is gonna be my favorite shade. I mean, you know I love green, yellow shades. And if you're new here, hi. <laughs> I love green and yellow shades. But this is just so pretty. And it has a little bit of like, maybe blue or pink. Yeah, I think it's blue. But it's a very pretty shade. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of uses out of this. Also, um i bought this palette and i bought the uh, alter ego palette which it's a really big palette 
and I only bought it because I wanna depot it and use it for building my own palettes as like a, to have some singles because buying singles is really expensive and uh, the glam light um, the glam shop palettes were all on discount everything I'm gonna show you in this video was on discount so that was another reason for me to actually get it and yeah and I thought I can just depot it and I don't know if I'm gonna depot this pad because I, I like the packaging kind of it's it's more simplistic than I usually go for but I like it and I like the color story so I think I'm gonna keep this one as a palette uh, also because I really think that they like build the palette well like the quality feels nice so far I mean I'm only using it for the first time but I think it's oh I think it's very pretty I'm using the shade Smudgy Ovots I think um, I usually understand Polish but I don't know how to read Polish But when somebody talks to me, I usually get what they're saying, at least, like, I can deduce what, what they're saying. Whoa, this is great shade. It's like blue, purple, pink, with like this neon, orangey, pinky base. Whoa. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but... This is so pretty. Wait, do you actually see that? Or do you not see that? It's a stunning shade. And I love this look. So let me finish it up. And before I do, I'm gonna show you the other... the other things that I've got. So, I also have the... Uh, cream bronzer. This one is in the shade olive so like olive and it looks like a really nice color I've already like, swatched it on the back of my hand and it looks like it's gonna be my color I've never really owned a proper bronzer. I've owned two like essence matte uh, like powder bronzers and I didn't like them, but they also were in my shade, but I want to try this so We'll see how that will look like and then this is the Alter Ego palette. It's big, like it's huge. I'm definitely not gonna use it as a palette because I would never get uses out of that. Like I, it's too big and I get confused by palettes this big. But this is how she looks like. She's ginormous. It's two, four, six, seven, I think it's 28 shades, but I like that you have so many different options. I think this was 28 euros, so you pretty much have a every shade for a euro, which is amazing because you have this like kind of it's a glitter I think, but it's very loose, uh, it's very tiny glitter, and I tried to swatch it and it looks like it's not gonna be too abrasive and like you know chunky. And it has so many different like specks in it. it. It has a lot of color. You have these two glitters here, which I haven't tried yet, but they also look very finely milled. And you have just this extremely like shiny, shiny shade. It's kind of really wet looking. And then you have a lot of normal shimmers and so many matte shades to choose from. So uh, I think I'm definitely gonna use this as like the building block of my uh, build your own palette ideas and yeah I really like the shades like I like the yellows the oranges the raspberries the blues are gorgeous in this palette and the greens like all of it all of it is stunning you have great range I would never use this as a palette on its own because it's just too big for me and I get confused but for building your own palette I think it's great and I will definitely show you uh, the depotting process and then I also have six new shing singles so I have it here in my magnetic palette which I will sh show you soon how I made it uh, or maybe I already did on my Instagram and TikTok which if it is I will link it down below I just reused my uh, this like box of eyeliners from Uden's Eye from the Salmone collection so I have this bottom row of shades and then also this one 
this kind of like marbled shade. So the marbled shade is called uh, Nart Nartis, and it's like marbled, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, pretty. It has purple, and then the white specks have like gold sheen. Then I have this deep plum shade called uh, Vegierka. I think it's like a very deep plum. Then I have a shimmer, shimmery blue, which I think is duochrome between like dark blue and purple, and it's called Breeze. Also beautiful, and these are magnetic, obviously. Then I have this deep, kind of like pinky purple called um, Creme Malinovi, which I don't know if there isn't the same shade in the Alter Ego palette. No, there isn't, so it's fine. I just thought that I saw shade name like that so this is kind of like a raspberry color because malina is raspberry then we have this like inky blue shade called atrament or uh, uh called ink so this like very it's very beautiful kind of like denim -y, inky blue and then this like very bright pinky color um, called Festive, Festivalovi, also very pretty, so I will definitely use these as well, uh, as well in the future. And yeah, maybe I could show you the bronzer, like the application of it, so we'll, we'll try it now. So, uh, I just have like a damp beauty blender and the bronzer, and we're gonna try to use it. I've never used cream bronzer before, but I assume it's similar to cream brush, uh, blushes and stuff, so we'll try that. And, and see. Ooh, yeah. I wanted a bronzer that's like lighter because A, I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna really wear bronzers and I don't, I'm pretty pale. So I definitely don't want anything too deep, but this looks very pretty. Like it's very subtle, but I don't want anything else than that. And I like that it's olive toned because I don't know. I don't really know if I have um, olive undertone in my skin, but I know that a lot of olivey shades are like things that are olive toned look good on me. So I assume that it's kind of olivey. I think I'm more like a warm olive, which this also is kind of more warm olive. And yeah. So it's blending out really nicely. It seems to be easy to use, which that's good because I don't actually know how to use these products. And it's a really nice color. I do like it. I don't want anything like too dark or too sculpted i'm not going for contour but you know i'm just like bringing a little bit of color into the face so, yeah is it even i don't know but yeah let me know what you think but i think it's really nice and it feels it feels satin it doesn't feel greasy or oily it's not too it's not too creamy it's not too like oily greasy it has some substance to it. Okay, so the look is done. Um, I've just added my L'Oreal uh, Telescopic Lift Mascara. Then I added my Colourpop Chiffon uh, Super Shock Blush, the pearlized one. And I've managed to make a pen, which yay, because it's actually my project pen product. And I thought it would fit with these like more pinky tones and like purpley tones and then I as a highlighter I actually use the shade uh, Essencia the Bros Brzosquini which is like a peachy pinky color and I have that on my cheeks 
I don't know if you actually can like tell, but it's it's subtle, but it's beautiful. And I think it's actually a very stunning highlighter. I think I'm gonna also wanna use the shade, like this one, the yellowy uh, inner corner highlight as a highlighter at some point because I think it would look beautiful. So that's for the first look with the palette Sorbetti. And I am very pleasantly surprised with this one because the mattes felt beautiful, like they're very nice, very... I'm trying to figure out a brand that... I think Gourmand Girls, I think that's what I'm thinking about when I touch this. There's something about it that reminds me Gourmand Girls or Cosmic Brushes. Something between those two um, brands so far. And the shimmers are stunning. They are so sparkly and wet looking and beautiful. There was no fallout, by the way. Um, I, I didn't have to clean anything. I don't, I haven't actually used, um, what is it called? Concealer under my eyes at all. And there's no fallout. And they're so sparkly, they're so beautiful. And they have that kind of formula that I don't think will crease because they're not too... Well, they're actually not like wet at least the ones that i've tried today aren't wet at all they're very finely milled and yeah to me i don't think they're gonna crease maybe slightly here when i have the like a little fold we'll see but i don't think these gonna be prone to creasing and that's really hard to do especially when you have something this wet looking so i'll definitely let you know at the end of this video what i think and if they creased but right now, I don't think they're gonna crease. Like, it, the, the formula and the texture just doesn't really make me believe that it would be possible for them or that it would be very likely for them to crease. And I really like this. I can't wait to actually wear it. I already have like five or six looks planned and I haven't owned this for more than like 40 minutes. <laughs> But there's just something about it. Yes, I'm gonna need other mattes than this. But I also, I think for right now when I have so much work and a lot of the times I have to be really early at work, having just one matte and then a bunch of really fun cool shimmers, I think that's gonna be great for me. And there's just something so summery and springy about this. And yeah, I I really dig this. I actually really like it. So yeah, can't wait to get more uses out of it. Also, it has a mirror, uh, which is really cool. And yeah, can't wait. We'll let you know about the other products as well, what I think about them. And I'm definitely gonna use them in some like reels, shorts and stuff like that. So that's it for look number one. And let's jump right into look number two. Okay, so for the second look, I've decided to use some of the singles. So this first single is called Ink, and it's like a very deep inky blue, kind of going a little bit into purple. Uh, so I've used this one as like a base uh, crease color. Then I've used the single in the shade Vegierka uh, to deepen it up. It's a very nice, like deep plummy color. Then I used the palette and I, uh, I've i kind of used the shade Malinowski in the inner part of the crease to just brighten it up a little bit. And then I also went in with the shade Nepozorni, uh, which is like a very basic, like beigey color to just kind of help with the blending and everything. Then for shimmers, I started with the bluish shade called Tutti Frutti which is gorgeous and it has like a green purple shift. It really reminds me of one of the shades in the Annette's Mighty Monster palette with Odin's Eye. And then I've used the shade Bla Ochlody, uh, kind of in the beginning, it's very like purpley shade. And then the shade Miatus in my inner corner, beautiful bluey green color and it looks very blue in this instance. So here's the finished look. I've used my Colourpop blush in the shade uh, chiffon 
which is like a beautiful sparkly blush, then the Kind and Free Concealer from Rimmel, Fast Base Blush from uh, Revolution in the shade Peachy, then the Telescopic Lift Mascara from L'Oreal, and the Revolution Streamline uh, Eyeliner in the shade Light Blue. Here is the close-up look, it's beautiful, and you can see the shifts uh, on the lids, like it's so 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 beautiful, I love this look, it was so fun. Maybe a little bit darker, but really, really fun, and I loved it. So this is for the second look. And then the last look, we started with the shade Socks Mirabelki, which is a very beautiful orangey shade, and it kind of matched my sweater a little bit. Then I've added the shade Mrojo na Kava uh, to use as an eyeliner. It was really easy, quick look, and I like to do looks like that from time to time, and I was kind of in a hurry that day so yeah just kind of uh, doing it as eyeliner then for the main shimmer I've used the Essencias Brusquini uh, kind of all over the lid it is so pretty and then uh, in my inner corner I have the light shade called Mrojone Citrine so pretty as you can see and here's the finished look I love how it looks like it was very soft very springy very fun and it really fitted the the whole like outfit and everything so here you can see a little bit uh, of a close-up and kind of like the shift and i love this palette i love this palette i love the singles and i would definitely recommend trying glam shop if you've never tried them before so yeah definitely go for them they're wonderful and i can't wait to try something else from them in the future i think they've had like a cool release not that long ago i think it was like a week or two ago so maybe i'm gonna get that so let me know what you thought about these looks. Uh, let me know if you've tried this brand or their palettes. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll be very happy to see you in my next video. So bye.